millions of people believe and live in enhancing and harnessing the natural forces that prevail in the environment, be it their home or their office. Having a great family, having a great career, having a great set of friends and able to fulfill all their dreams. All this is possible if they're able to balance the natural forces that surround them. And that balance is possible if they're able to place the right crystal. If you go in the south of India, it's very popular that everybody hangs a crystal of alum at the door. What is the purpose of hang hanging an alum crystal in the door? The purpose of hanging an alum crystal in the door is, alum has the same property, high quality of absorption and storing, very poor transmission and amplification. So whatever negativity that would come into the house, somebody's jealousy, somebody's anger, somebody's ire, or just like that, you know, some negativity that comes into the house, gets absorbed by the alum crystal, it holds it and stores it for so long that its functional efficacy is almost dead by the time it releases it. So it protects the house. Feng Shui is an age-old Chinese theory which advocates the principle of living in harmony with the nature. Every house has to have a proper inflow of auspicious energy. And this auspicious energy depends upon various factors. And every place where we work should also have auspicious energy in order to conduct the business smoothly, in order to overcome all the difficult situation. Feng Shui is totally related to many tools which activates or deactivates the auspicious or inauspicious energies. The tools like wind chime, sound, sound is an energy in Feng Shui. Similarly, you have an earth energy which is the crystals and there are various forms of crystals. These crystals serve various purpose. When we talk about this science, Feng Shui, we are only looking for uh, bringing in balance at the place where they live in. So, in this science, it is the house or the workplace considered as a, a body to be energized. Crystals not only do work with the energy, but crystals also beautify your environment. They also have great appeal, uh, decorative appeal. So, many people would like to buy a crystal and keep it into the house. You may buy a crystal for its beauty, you may buy a crystal because it will make you feel rich and people may appreciate what a beautiful collection you got. But please make sure that you learn elementary crystal stuff before you buy a crystal. Because tomorrow it can and will definitely cause a transformation in the energy of your house. It definitely cause a transformation in the energy of your environment. And if it helps you, good for you. If it doesn't help you, really, really bad for you. It's not difficult to learn it. It's easy and simple to learn. You learn it and learn it properly and then make the maximum use of it. It's a beautiful decoration. It's a beautiful tool. Why use it only for a decoration? Most often when we build homes or when uh, building, before we propose to start a building, gemstones are buried. Usually it's a precious gems that are generally buried. But nowadays I tell people to put in uh, an amethyst and a garnet and a crystal along with the other nine precious stones. Because uh, as I told you, the crystal has a lot of power. It enhances the vibration of the place. Uh, basically it brings about a lot of peace. And uh, we find that people tend to be less anxious when there is a crystal around. So the energy of the lingam, the symbology of the lingam, is the yang energy, the mild energy, the Shiva energy, no? So you have two things which come together to have a certain effect. Now you must determine yourself that if the effect you want to have is better suited to use a pyramid or to use a sphere or to use a lingam. This is a lingam is Moki Topaz, perfectly clear, it's a fantastic stone. Now, take for example these bejas, you know, the thunder, it's a Tibetan symbol. It has four elements. These, the Tibetan tantrics, say some mantra and cut through the blockages in the physical, emotional, mental and spiritual. <coughs> now, this, if you're steeped into the Tibetan tantrism, it works. Otherwise, it's a toy. If you, the, the power is there, but it will be like a computer. 
if you don't know how to use it, then it's useless. It cannot do anything, no? So the form of the shape, a pyramid of a sphere have their own shape that has its effect even if you don't know. But there is some shape that to be to have power they have to be activated with certain mantra, with certain knowledge. 